So today we have a wide array of small business items we are going to be trying on hauling for you. No, oh, if you horrible. Like, what is this? I love me some food. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Clever Stack. Ooh, did that hurt your throat? You like literally shoved it back. It like came out and then you're like, uh. figged you out, didn't I? All right, you guys, we are back today because obviously we love exploring new styles, new clothing items, letting you guys know what our favorite clo clothing items are mm -hmm. and how to style them. And honestly, after all the places that we've shopped at, we've realized that a lot of people in the comments are like, why are you buying from like these big corporations? Yeah, so we have been digging and diving into these smaller businesses and we've really found out that we love the clothes that they have on these smaller sites. Very high fashion, very chic. I yeah. think that is so cute. Super comfortable. Women do it right. We love a small business. Yeah. Like, we always want to support people who are on the come up, you know? Yes. Yes. Also usually means that things are ethical, yes. which we like, which is great, you yes. know, and mm -hmm. sustainable. Yeah. And you guys, you know what? During a pandemic, all these big corporations, they're fine. They're fine. They don't need our coins. Yeah. They are surviving. But yeah. these small businesses, they need a little help. Yeah. So you know what? We're supporting them. So today we have a wide array of small business items we are going to be trying on, hauling for you. And we have everything from hoodies to swimsuits, everything in between. It's gonna be a good day. I'm actually really excited about this first brand that we're gonna be trying on. So let's go put some clothes on. Wow! Woo! All right, you guys, our very first small business company it is called Wasi. And I'm really excited about this line because it is a woman that is based here in Los Angeles. Yep. Her name is Vanessa Costa. So she is Bolivian and the whole theme of her line is home. That's actually what Wasi stands for. And what I love the most about what we have on, they're very tailored to our personalities. Like, so Sinead has plant mommy, which is like, come on. If you know Sinead, the girl loves her plants. She loves to get down and garden. Forest. And then yeah. Drew has brown. brown. As y'all know, she is chocolate, chocolate brown and fine as wine. And then I have, I'm hungry. If y'all know me, I'm always hungry. I always eat. I love me some food. The fact that they have yeah, just really three cute. random shirts that are so personal to us, I think that's insane. It was yeah. meant to be. You know no, I, yeah. these are so cute. Also, they're super, super soft. Yeah. And I do love that so it's all soft. made in LA. It's local and she only hires Latinx workers. I mean, we're all about diversity, obviously. We are mm -hmm. three brown girls, so it's always exciting to see people celebrating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The great thing about her line too is not only does she have t-shirts, but she has everything. Pants, shirts, she even has home decor as well. Ooh. And it all goes back to her Bolivian heritage. Now that you said that, I wanna check out her home decor because I feel like since mm -hmm. this shirt exists, a plant mommy t-shirt, that I'm like, ooh, what else does she have for like home decor? Maybe she has like planters. So these t-shirts are a little bit Pricey for a t-shirt, it's $39, but I think that is a really good, decent yeah. price point. Yeah, it's ethically made and it's given back to the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I'd pay for that. Yeah, yeah and uh, it's soft as hell. It's, it's so it, soft. The what quality is so nice. What is that, velvet? Right, like, what is this? Yay! Also, there's multiple shades of brown. Where's mine? Okay, so my shade, I think, bloop, that's me. Where am I? Right here. Oh, yeah, but you right here. Pose for I'm the jawline. Jaw You're the jawline. I'm the color pretty, pretty dark skin. Pretty like Lapita when the camera's rolling. Drip wrote the levy when my Kelly's rolling. I definitely skipped a line. I never charge you for anybody else singing. Okay, on to the next one. Small businesses. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, we are so excited about this next one. So these hoodies are from a brand called Cat. Fish. But before I get to tell you the magic in these hoodies, let me tell you a little bit about where this comes from. So this was started by a 22 year old girl from New York. Her name is Alexis. She actually just launched this in February of 2021. So this is straight up small business, very, very brand new. And she has a TikTok where you guys can check it out and you can actually see her packing our order. A small business owner always does a little happy dance when we get a new order. Now, the magic with these hoodies, you guys, not only are they super soft and super slouchy and comfortable and we will be wearing these forever, but the hoods are satin lined. Now, if you are a girl out there with ethnic hair, you know how important and how monumental this is. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Judy, some help. Don't worry. Oh, you got it? Wait, you gotta unscrunch it. Oh my God, you I look like I'm being birthed out of a hairy vagina. Yes! <laughs> 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 
If you do have curly hair or ethnic hair, you know how important this is. If you don't, let's break it down for you. When you have curly hair, it is so important that you are able to have a hood that has a satin lining. That's why a lot of girls with curly hair sleep in a satin scarf or on silly pillowcases or something like that because it actually is the best thing for curly hair. Yeah. And it does make a difference. Huge. Like regular pillowcases, Huge. things like that actually do dry out my hair. Yeah. And um, this this is <laughs> huge. Yeah. yeah. So this is really amazing. I feel like we're all gonna sleep in this. Listen, 100%. my huge thing is anytime I fly anywhere, I always wear a hoodie. And the reason I do that is I like to do this and then I swear to God, I close it and I go to sleep like this, right? So not only is it gonna be protecting my hair, but also my face. You mm -hmm. don't have like this rough cotton material that's just like gliding on your face. Now you have like legit satin. Yeah. And it's just like, oh. Yeah, no, but this is really, really cool. But we obviously really love that this is a real like brand new business and it's a really great idea. So she might have Such a small a company, idea. but it is a huge idea and we really hope you guys support mm -hmm. her. I love this. I don't want to take this off. I know, I'm like, me either. I'm so like comfortable. Guys. It sounds like I'm underwater. Which is I, nice. <laughs> I legit can't take the visual out of my head Dude. of like you being birthed out of a vagina. With the giant Have smile you on your face. <laughs>you guys, we are in our swimsuit round and we are all wearing pieces from Chromat. It's by Becca McCarran Tran and she is a bomb queer woman. So this is queer owned as well as woman owned. Mm -hmm. And also as you guys can see, all of the designs are very like geometric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she has a architectural background, which is dope. Yeah. And there's also a vast range of sizes. We're going from extra small to 4XL. I really like some of the choices that she's made design wise. I'm not like a huge fan of necessarily the way it fits, but I really love the actual style because yeah, like, it's oh, so that's cool. cool, right? It's really like interesting choices. Yeah, love the top that. is incredible. The top is so cool. I love this. Yeah, me too. I am wearing an extra small. I think I would have just sized up on the bottoms. I think the top fits me great, but I think I would size up on the bottoms just for where it sits. Now I know that like the boy shorts kind of do sit not necessarily like on your thigh. They kind of sit a little bit higher and it is cutting into my butt a little bit. So mm -hmm. if I was a just a small instead of an extra small, I think I wouldn't have an issue. Looks good though. Your butt looks good. Squeeze. It does. It looks juicy. Sinead said, what, this? <laughs> yes, <laughs> what, you <laughs> juicy? Yeah. Yours is definitely my favorite out of all three. Yeah, now this same. this is very interesting. It's not something I would usually pick out, but you have to give it to her. It's a velvet swimsuit. Yeah. Like, and the fact that you can actually go in the pool with it is cool. The color's cool. There's a lot of there's a lot of lines going on. Yeah. You know, like this will help you pass geometry. The only thing that I'm like, whew, is the color. It's not even the design. I really like the design. You hate pink. I don't. It's not that I hate pink and velvet pink. together is a lot. It's just pink. <laughs> the the velvet. This shade of pink. I have a visceral reaction to it, but it's not Ooh. that I hate it. Now you're making me like it more because I really like like Barbie <laughs> pink. This you know? is it's Barbie, Barbie pink. pink. It's for straight sure. up like a Barbie would yes. be wearing this one. hundred percent. Put me in a box. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. I'm a the thing about this swimsuit, it's just like it's not flattering for me personally. I think the the top of the swimsuit so is really cute. I love this cut and like honestly, it gives you some kind of like boot, yeah. yeah, which is nice. It's um, it's, I don't like this like across. Like it's not like no well, one wants to have like a square shape here. If this was like this, yeah, it would be so yeah. much cuter. It's just not flattering. I think this swimsuit is really yeah. cute and yeah. the material's nice and this is really like nice. That. It does it have the same cutout in the back, the same exact I'm one. I'm gonna turn around this. Baby Jack. To your point, Sinead, I yeah. think the good thing about her line is that you're gonna find what you like because every, there's so many different options. Like these are three completely different totally. styles. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you go to some swimsuit lines, it has like very much like the stay, the same kind of like swimsuits, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Whereas if you go on this one, you're like, oh my gosh, this is totally myself. These aren't, but someone's gonna find something that they like on right. there. Yeah, what I just thought about like the tan lines on all of these would be fun. No, they'd be horrible. Can we actually talk I think about she that was with being sarcastic. <laughs> oh. you guys the very next brand is called unique vintage it is so adorable i love it right off the bat it's so cute i love everybody in their little looks and you just want to like you know 
So the owner, her name is Katie Eschaberry, and she actually created this line back in 2000, and it is inspired by vintage from the 1940s up into present day. And as you can see, we all have very different looks on. So I mean, it's not everyone's style particularly, oh. but I mean, for mine, I would wear this like on vacation. Yeah, yeah, style, yeah so. that's really, really yeah. cute. The cool thing about this line too is it goes all the way up to 4XL which I think is so great. Yeah, so yeah. any size, they could buy from this brand. Also, she has collabs with Disney, which like, how it can't get any better than that. And Harry so Potter. Cute. Like Jeez, clearly, brand. still a small it's still a small business, obviously, still mm -hmm. an independent business. But I mean, she's making waves, so you guys should definitely check it out, especially if you love vintage clothing, if you love like thrifting and stuff like this. Yeah, there's not many stores where you can just go shop things that look vintage, you know, right, without them right. actually being vintage. Yeah, so right. cool. yeah. And I, I'm a person who used to shop at costume stores, like, really? Halloween, that, I would be like, why does that oh. not surprise me? <laughs> at all? I think also because it's not actually vintage clothes, mm -hmm. you get a better price point. Right. So since it's vintage inspired, you're yes. getting lower prices. This is 68, I believe yours is around 68. Drew has the most expensive, around 80 something dollars, mm -hmm. which is really a still because dresses like that are normally a hundred plus. Yeah. And for it to be a small business as well, on right. top of that, to have that price point, I think it's crazy. It's just well made. Like it's just structured right, you yeah. know? Because yeah. this could easily go wrong if it's not like, the cuffage and the waist mm -hmm. isn't right, but it's perfect. All right, you guys, that was really fun. And honestly, we really love supporting small businesses. We do. But you guys, let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Oh. And of course, we have it all linked in the description. So if you want to support these small businesses, you can. Give them your dollars. Give them the bills. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, you guys, and when you're done with that, click right on over here to watch even more clever stuff.